Today's at home workout with your qualified trainer, Lucy Wyndham Reid, is a 10 minute mobility workout. So, mobility is really important if we want to live a healthy lifestyle because it's mobility that gives us movement. It helps move our body and it helps prevent injuries as well. So, this is a really lovely routine. You can actually do this in pajamas, you don't even need to be in workout gear. I'm going to be doing it with you in real time. So, if you're ready, let's start looking after your joint health right now. So this is your 10 minute mobility routine. Let's have a quick preview of the first move. So we're gonna stand with good posture. We're gonna work the shoulder joint and we're just gonna work on doing one arm at a time, just doing full rotation. So just follow along. It's all just really relaxed today. This isn't an intense workout. So just come into position. Always start with your thumb pointing forwards. We're gonna lift the arm up, then rotate back. Lift up, take it behind, that's good. And again, just keep going and this time now bring it forwards forwards and the more often you do this you'll find that this move becomes easier so let's now work on the opposite side you always start with your thumb pointing forwards make sure your knees are slightly bent that's good and then just bring that forwards okay all right and let's now have a look at the next move this one now we're going to work the elbow and the fingers and we start with doing four of these bends then we're just going to hold and just imagine you're opening and closing through the hands so let's again stand with good posture and just bend four go three take it two and one then hold it here and then open and close through the hands and again just repeat so that's the sequence and how it's going to work today we're working all the major joints and we're going to repeat the routine a second time so it's just a nice relaxed routine literally just isolating different joints okay so next move coming up this time you take your palms together and just imagine that you are just chopping something imagine you are, I don't know cutting a slice of cake and then we're just going to take it halfway through to the other side so we're just gonna bend and straighten. So this one here is working through the elbow joints. Again, and mobility is a great way of looking after your joints. What we do every time we move a joint, we increase what's known as synovial fluid. This is what helps to lubricate your joints and looks after your joint health. So now take that to the opposite direction. Make sure knees are slightly bent as you're standing there with good posture. All right, okay, so next move coming up, we're gonna work through the spine, we're gonna work what's known as your facet joints. And with this one, you're just gonna stand with your feet slightly wider than hip width distance apart, and we're just gonna reach from one side, then back to the center, then over to the opposite side. So this one here is just about mobility through your back, and reach over. And definitely come and have a look on my website i've got so many free challenges these are all completely free you can do them at home i've got my walk fit heart health healthy weight loss uh, limited mobility challenge i'll leave a link in the description down below so you can follow one of those so next move coming up again the same area this time now really lovely one just release those arms and you're just going to gently swing from one side to the other just nice control so again we're just loosening up and working mobility through your middle always important to make sure you never want those knees locked out so always have them slightly bent if we lock them out then we're putting pressure on those joints all right that's good just keeping that going and the more often you do this routine you'll find that your mobility increases you'll have a better range of motion so the next move we're going to work is your hip joint now if you do need to for balance do this by a wall or you can use a chair we're going to alternate from one leg to the other we're just going to take that hip circles okay so let's get ready and let's just take that one leg so we're just going to take it out rotate and then come back so the more often you do this you will find that you can increase your range of motion you might find that you have quite limited mobility through the hips this is why then these exercises are really good to do the key thing is do what feels right for you work through your range of motion all right that's good keeping that going and always keep full control with that move okay so let's have a look at the next move this one now we're going to work the knee joint so standing with good posture you're going to take the leg up and then we're just going to do an extension so you lift the leg then extend for four 
and then we're going to take that down and now take that to the opposite leg. So what we're doing here, this is really lovely for the knee joint because we're mobilising, but we're not putting any direct pressure through the joint. And also for this one, if you need to use a chair for balance, use the wall for balance. All right, that's good. And let's now look at the next one. So we're going to work this time your ankle joint. And for this, it's a really nice one. We're just going to do a heel to toe tap and we'll work one leg and then we'll change halfway through. So if you just come into position for me and just tap that heel, then toe. And if you think about it, your bones, we need to have joints in our bones, otherwise we wouldn't be able to move. And this is why it's really important that we take care of them. And let's just change, take that to the other leg. So it's that toe tap and heel tap, keeping that going. Supporting leg is slightly bent. And let's just go a couple more on there. So next move is what we call a multiple joint move. So this one here, we're working all these joints. So just work to what feels comfortable for you. This one here is obviously a bit more intense mobility. So just work to the range of motion that you have. So you're just doing a lateral bend from one side to the other and just reaching your hand down towards the ground. So this one here, working your shoulder, your elbow. We're also doing a little bit of a twist. So we're working through the facet joints in your spine. We're working the hips and knee as well. All right, that's good. Just keeping that going. So that is the first round done. We're simply gonna repeat this now a second time and we're gonna go in from one move straight to the other because I want to now you get used to this routine. So let's go for doing those shoulder rotations nice control always make sure that you're keeping those knees slightly bent for me and now bring that back that's good and again now take that to the opposite side and the great thing is when we do this mobility what we're doing is increasing your blood flow so we're supplying nutrients to the joints as well knees slightly bent all right, that's good. So we're going to work the elbows now. So remember, palms face down and let's take that to those four bends. And then we're going to hold it and just open and close through the hands for four. And again, just bend and extend, just keeping that going. That's good. And you can always see the joints that we're working. So the finger joints and then we're also working through that elbow joint. Knees stay soft. All right, so next move, palms face together and imagine we're just chopping something. We're going one direction, then halfway through we change to the other. And it'd be really interesting, if you do this for the next seven days, you will find that all these movements feel so much easier than they did before. All right, that's good, keeping that going. Palms stay together and just extend. So it's a bend and extension. All right, so next move, let's work through your middle. So working through the spine and just going from one side to the other. Keep the knees slightly bent for me. Work that fullest range of motion. So travel that as far down to the side as you can. So this is working what we refer to as your facet joints all through the spine. And definitely come and find me on social media. Let me know how you're getting on with your mobility. And also do let me know if you'd like more of these mobility workouts. And we're going to repeat now working the same joint, but slightly different move. So this one now, just that lovely twist, knees are slightly bent and just, it's a really lovely one. Just really relax those arms, just swing from one side to the other. Make sure you're keeping your hips facing forwards just so we're really feeling that through the spine. All right, that's good. Just relax the rest of the body. It's just that really nice free moving motion. So this time, again, we're gonna work the hip. Remember, use a wall if you need to for balance and just give me those circles. And as they say, motion is a lotion because movement lubricates your joints. And round two the second part we're just going from one move to the other so you then really become familiar with this routine and the whole point with this routine it's not an intense workout you shouldn't be sweating it's simply about just moving your joints okay so next one we're going to do is working the knee so you bring that leg up you extend and bend for four 
and we take that down so what's happening here actually it's really lovely because gravity when we're doing this one is kind of pulling down it's just opening up through the knee joints and our knee joints are the most complex joints we have a lot of people have issues with their knee joints and i'm actually going to leave a link also down below for an amazing knee routine that if you are struggling with your knees do that that really does help as well all right, that's good, keeping that going. So next one we're gonna do is we're gonna work through those ankles and just go that foot, heel, toe, heel, toe. That's good. Nice, full range. And this one here is also really good. The other thing is it's gonna really help with your balance as well. And this is a great thing with exercise. When we exercise, we do more than just get fit. You know, we work on your joint health, you work on your balance, your flexibility, your core strength, energy, everything. All right, so you ready for the last move today? We just do that multiple joint one. So we're just gonna go from one side to the other. Make that move as big and dynamic as you can. Really good. So this here is just a really lovely mobility routine. As said, if you want more of these, let me know in the comments down below. Let's just keep that going. One side to the other. And this is really lovely to just do first thing in the morning to set you up for the rest of the day. So well done as your trainer, I always give you a high five, so there you go. And really well done with that today because what we've done, we've looked after your joint health. Our joints are so important, you know, we need to understand how incredible our body is. You know, you've got over 300 joints, so we want to take care of them. What I would say is you could come back and do this workout as often as you want. It's a really lovely one to do first thing in the morning. Watch the sunrise and mobilize those joints. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. There's my thumbs up to you. And if you're not ready, definitely subscribe and I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.